tell you guys, July update of the ongoing fertilization experiment 2024. Okay, interesting changes. I always say that, but it's true. You'll remember with the control, it was doing so pitifully, I started watering it with urine. I've only done two waterings, and this has grown tenfold, at least tenfold. And look at the color difference between this and the miracle Grow. Let's take a leaf off and compare. And this is spottled, but I don't know. That could just be pest damage. Um, in my mind, those are very different colors. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Uh, so this is no longer controlled. Now it's trying to be a salvage product. But you'll also notice another thing, that there's only a cucumber in here. The beans and okra are gone. They got eaten by little frickin' bunnies or deer. I have, see there's all this fencing I've got everywhere? I've got stacks of fencing that I put over it. And the problem is, is this is in my back pasture. And we live over there. These were just outbuildings. So the little deer come from the forest and they hop over and they start munching before my super dog can get over here. Anyway, long story short, all I have in there is a cucumber. I have everything in here. Most of the beans are gone and the okra is in crappy shape in the urine and the same in the uh, urine with wood ash. You can see how it's just been nibbled, nibbled away. So I think um, really we're going to get just stuck with a little bit of beans and mostly cucumbers. And look at these cucumbers compare. Anyway, all right, so um control cucumber this one is the miracle grow the color's not as great the growth um it does go back pretty far but what i'm really impressed about is look in here i've got bunches of cucumbers so i'm going to pick those and put them into a container out front and i'll do that with all of these pick them and then we'll come back here in just a second and check that um, I am going to leave, let's go back here again. I know I'm all over the place, you guys. These are black beans. These are not green beans. So I'm going to leave them in place because I want them to dry here so I can save the bean for next year. Obviously, they're too big really to eat right now. And it's really, it's a saving bean for me. Uh, I can cook with them. I don't eat them as a green bean. But also I can plant them next year. It's an heirloom or varietal. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those, but I will count them. Um, at the end of the season, I'll pick them and we'll weigh them. Um, if there's any in these other ones, I'll go ahead and pick and weigh them. But I can tell you right now, Miracle Grow is obviously going to win the black bean contest because it's the only one with any real black beans. Cucumber. Oh my gosh. And the urine and the urine with wood ash. This, it's, it, it's insane. I mean, it's coming up to the top of my four foot fence. See all those flowers back there. We'll have to go check out the back side. Two, the color is fantastic. Um, I do have overripe cucumbers in there. I'm still going to weigh them. Because it's my fault I was out of town. I couldn't get to them. So I'm going to go ahead and pick those and bring them out and weigh those. But again, uh, okra, I think, well, I barely have an okra. But again, you can tell how it was munched, right? That's typical beer rabbit kind of thing planted something in there. I don't even know what that is. And just a few beans. And then the urine with wood ash. Um, I also have overripe cucumbers in there. You can see the orange thing in there. So I'm going to pick those real quick. I'm going to clean up um, any of the leaves and I'll just kind of put them up front so we can take a look at that. So yeah, let me uh, get in there and pick and uh, check out and see what we have as far as production so far. My lazy dog, I'm um, not doing much help on this side, but she does, she does try. Runs out here at night, but usually a little too late. Okay, let me get to picking. Thought it'd be interesting to take a look at the back side of these plants. So we were filming on that side looking this way, and here's uh, the back side of the Miracle Grow. And I came back here because I believe there, yep, there's cucumbers in here I need to pick and put in that 
um, container up there to weigh. Beautiful. The miracle Grow. In the past, it's done this too. It comes out, <clears throat> starts out really super strong, and then it kind of starts to lose its uh, vigor. But look, look, I have enough to ferment. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I need to move these over to the bowl, and then we'll come over here. And look, this wasn't well thought through. Do I do anything that's well thought through? Um, so I'll go through here. Yep, we got some in here too. So anyway, okay, that's the back side ta -ta -ta, of each. And again, I think that's, these are much more yellow than these are. Let's pick a leaf. Let's pick a good leaf. This is a good leaf. Nice, pretty leaf. And look at one um, yeah this is more yellow for sure so probably uh uptaking more nitrogen obviously right urine has a lot more nitrogen um in it straight urine does it has some potassium and phosphorus but more nitrogen than the miracle grow does but the urine with wood ash which has more phosphorus and potassium is also uh greener yeah, it's a slightly less green, I think, though. It's not in the sun. Let's look at this in the sun. I don't know. You be the judge. It's always so hard to tell shades, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to get back to picking. All right, here we go. Here's what we picked from Miracle Grow. Two pounds, exactly. So two pounds is what, uh, just under a kilo of miracle Grow cucumbers and um, nothing else. The urine is one, point, uh, one pound, 3.8 ounces, and the urine with wood ash, one uh, pound, 6.7. So they're about three ounces difference in weight. You can see some of these are much older. You gotta uh, pick cucumbers really for more fruit to start setting. Um, that's in my opinion, at least. You'll get a few older ones. Um, but really, to get new ones, you really need to continually pick. So I think that's part of the problem here. That and the fact that miracle Grow always, always has a strong beginning. Um, so that's going to be it for this July update. Uh, I'm leaving the few black beans on, like I said, to mature. And the only okra I have are in the miracle Grow, Gigantic one here and a small one here. This is also a heritage uh, kind again or heirloom I can't remember anyway I'm saving the seeds so I'm going to let these go I do have some planted in the big garden for eating but I'll let these go I will measure them though and weigh them um, before or the end of the season so um, definitely the miracle Grow is going to win the beans and the okra simply because nobody else really has any no other containers has them so we're really looking at the cucumbers but you know it's part of the program so I'm going to make note of that anyway there you have it let me know if you have any questions and um yeah oh I got a lot of questions actually recently because we've had an increase in viewership about urine what kind of urine am I using I'm using human urine I don't know how the hell I'd use animal urine unless I had very cooperative dogs and cats um so yeah I use uh my family's urine mine and my husband's and um because it's our urine, I know it's safe. So um, anyway, that was a question I've been getting quite a bit lately. There you go. If you want to know how I collect it, I've got a video for that, which I will link. And uh, yeah, give it a shot. Thanks for watching.